Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Recently I received an email from someone telling me that they were missing their object selection tool from the toolbar in Photoshop. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how you could get back any tools you are missing from the toolbar, and I'm also going to tell you how you could remove tools you don't ever use from the toolbar, rearrange tools, and group tools together. For this demonstration, I actually set up my Photoshop so that my toolbar is missing the object selection tool. Now to get it back, what I need to do is just go up to edit and then down to toolbar. From there, you'll get this dialog box and it tells you right at the top what to do. It says to drag and drop tools or their groupings in the toolbar list view, move excess unused or low priority tools into the extra list when enabled, extra tools will appear in their own slot at the bottom of the toolbar. All right, what this is telling you, basically your toolbar is over here on the left. And any tools you have grouped together, you could see they're grouped together here. On the right are extra tools. These are tools that currently aren't in the toolbar. If I want to get a tool from the extra tools into the toolbar, I, I simply need to drag and drop it. Now my toolbar is missing that object selection tool and what I need to do is search through this to find it and here it is right here now all I need to do is drag it and drop it over there now it's there and it's there in real time it's actually over here now now I like it grouped together with those other tools that are a similar you know um, use and this is the quick selection tool and the magic wand tool right here now what I need to do then is drag it. Now you can see it's right here right now, but to drag it, just click on it and just drag it into that grouping, just like that. And now you can see it's right here. It's the top tool in this group, object selection tool, quick selection tool, and magic wand tool. Now we also could remove tools we don't often use. Like I never use an artboard, artboard tool. So I could just drag it and bring it over here to the extra list and it removed it from that grouping. Um, single tools as well. It doesn't have to be a group. Now I do use the zoom tool, but if I didn't use the zoom tool, I could just drag it and move it over here. If I want to bring it back, I just click on it and bring it back and I'll put it right back where it was at the bottom. And I mentioned you could group tools together and remove tools from groups. Uh, for example, let's see here. We have a blur tool, a smudge tool, and we have a sharpen tool. That sharpen tool um, I would like probably in that group, or I could have these all separate from one another. Uh, let's see. Let's take the smudge, bolt, smudge tool out. So right now I have the blur tool, the smudge tool, and the sharpen tool, you can see over here, all separated. I could put them together. Just drag it together so they're all together like this. And then once they're all together, I could reorder them the way I want if I want the smudge tool at the bottom of the grouping, I could do that as well. So you could, de you could see by simply dragging and dropping, you could move your tools around, use tools on the left, unused tools on the right. You could group them together. You could take them out of groups, have them on their own, and it's very, very easy to do. Also, at the bottom of the toolbar here, you have different things you could show. Um, this here is a toggle showing you extra tools in the last toolbar set. Over here, if you just hover, you'll see you'll get a tooltip, show foreground and background colors. Those are our color swatches. Here's the quick mask mode. Uh, quick mask mode is something I use quite often, so I have that on so I could see it. And then next to that, we have the show screen mode. It's actually something I don't probably use that much, but I'll leave it there. And that's it. And when you're ready, uh, you could click done. One thing I do want to mention is you can restore the default. So if you want to get your Photoshop toolbar back, back to its default settings, just click on restore defaults. So don't be, don't worry if you move these all around and you accidentally move something over to the right and then you all of a sudden you can't find it for whatever reason, just click restore defaults and you should be all set. I'm going to click done. I kind of like what I did. 
And there it is. Now, if I click over here where these uh, selection tools are, you can see as I set it up, the object selection tool is the top tool in this little grouping of tools. And that's it. That's how you edit your toolbar and set it up the way you like to use it. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs>